really fun stuff. So, excuse me, caffeine is coming back up. So the first actual, like one of the things you're gonna need to learn in this game, if you wanna take on the intermediate or the expert category and you know take off significant amounts of time, excuse me, is this first step skip here in round four dash two. So this is the warship hold. And what you wanna do is you can see this thing down here. This guy is this little exploding mine thing. And you're gonna damage boost off of him up to the top of the ship up here. The way we do this is I set myself up. Here's where I want to jump from. I want to jump from about here. You obviously don't want to go there when you enter the stage. But when you activate the, the little mine, you want to jump up out of the water from here. And you want to jump straight up. Okay? So that's the first part. Now, to activate this guy, you have to screen scroll. You have to let the screen scroll a little bit. And you want to activate this guy when he's at the top. So I wait for him. He's coming down a little bit as he goes to the top. I want to activate him and... And I want to activate him when he's at hit the peak of his, his, uh, what do you call it? Um, his trajectory, I guess would be the word, or his path, at the top of his path. So I'm going to activate him this time away from at the top of the path. It activates it. I jump here, jump over, and then I bonk up here and I get, I skip about, you know, at least 30 seconds. That's usually, a, that's a good 30 second time save there. But the way I did that is from the point in the water where I showed, if you jump up and hit, his spiky as it's blowing out and you can bonk and you hit up here it takes a little bit to get it going um i definitely it's only recently <laughs> i would say like the past month that i've got it consistent but it'll be one of the biggest time saves in the game and um we thank the task for finding that for us fuzzer thanks man i don't know if you're still out there and if you're still tassing but super appreciate what you did man so we're going to show the next skip now And that's over here. This one's going to be a little bit more, a little bit more uh, challenging to describe, but I'm going to try. So first things first, when I walk in, I'm not pressing anything. The setup for this one, and this is a good setup for it, is to not press any button on the controller. So I'm literally hands off on the controller. Now I have to do this kind of quickly, so that's why I'm talking through it now in a pause state. But wherever Bonk ends up by himself is where you're going to jump from. I jump straight up. And then I want to hit this little green, I don't know, is it crab leg? I don't know what the hell you call this guy. He's this green dude. I want to hit the green dude just right after his peak on his right side. So if you notice, he's kind of like a half egg-ish. He's kind of like an awkward egg shape. Just on the right side of the peak of his egg shape is where you want to hit to get the skip to hit up where the up arrow is. You want to aim for that up arrow and then bonk off of that to get this skip. So it looks like this. I did an extra spin there. You don't have to. You can, if you've done this properly, you don't even need the extra spin. That's another time save that saves about 15 seconds. I may have to do some like editing and slow this down and all that kind of stuff to make, have it make any more sense. But I just wanted to share that with the new runners of Bonk's Revenge. I'll throw it in the Discord. So um, I'm so excited to see all of you, but hopefully this helps you out when you're taking on the expert and the intermediate run. <laughs> Yes, sire. 